testing. All right. Okay, good morning. Uh, morning, everyone. Well, doing my uh, usual and uh, browsing the Twitch forums. And I found another, uh, I found another conversa conversation. I found another forum topic here that uh, I could definitely relate to. And one I could easily answer. Uh, it's by Genocide 3883. Well, how am I supposed to grow my community when I've always been introverted, horribly socially awkward, and generally just generally bad at conversation? Well, I got one theory on that. Having a having a name like Genocide is it gonna, is it really gonna exactly open any doors for you or make you or exactly uh, make other people open up to you? Usually when I think genocide, I think, uh, Hitler, so. But like, um, like I always do, just going, going down the thread and commenting on the comments, and, um, and like I always say, I don't, I don't mean to embarrass or expose anybody or invade their privacy in any way, but I'm at a point where I find it easier to just simply speak it than type it. If I try to type it, it would take me forever and a day. But here we go. Whenever I've got some viewers, my interaction is awful beyond the basics. I just don't know what to say. Not seem boring, keep them engaged, and um, I could probably um, and I think uh, one word I can, I can give him the cure in one word: stream. Just do it. Just keep right on doing it. Um, no real major magic formula involved. You can probably you can probably go on forums like this and get some uh, tips and tricks here and there, but ultimately it's down to you. Um, I've said this in uh, I've said this in numerous other videos, and I'll say it here: you can't hit if you don't swing. I mean. I mean, you might, I mean, you might be an introverted person now, but not streaming, if, if you're not streaming at all, you're not ever gonna, you're not ever gonna break out of your shell if you don't do it. Now, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, definitely not saying I'm not exactly Dr. Dude or anything, or I don't have like keeping mounds of charisma or anything like that, it, but you're, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you at first. And I was in this exact same spot, too. Back when, um, back when I first started streaming on uh, Diablo 3. It, uh, when I was streaming on YouTube, kind of weird, but uh, streaming on YouTube, I actually got more visitors on there than I did on Twitch. But uh, YouTube's not without its drawbacks, but that's a matter for another time. But, but I'm on there. I've gotten as many as uh, 15 viewers. You can bet I'm over here. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that's 15 pairs of eyes on you. It's like, oh God, no, no. Yeah, it's very, it was very hard for me to, very hard for me to, to me to talk when you got like 15 pairs of eyes on you know, trying to, you know, like you're, like your General Zod on Superman 2 or something, and the other two guys got all the big faces around you. Guilty, 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 you know, and you're just really scary. So this is something I can definitely relate to. But again, my answer is still going to be the same. Stream. Just stream. Just keep doing it. Like I said before, if you don't, you're not going to get better if you don't. So, um, pretty much my two cents on that. And like all, and then I'll just go ahead and go on down the page, um, and maybe I can get some inspiration from other people too. This might sound basic, but silly. How you might feel on it? Okay, the instant like right there, and I'll like his while I'm at it too. Can relate. It's something that will grow on a lot of people. Why do you give them? I haven't been down yet, but if this is anything to go by, I can, I can wholeheartedly endorse that, bud. It, 
it's weird as it might sound, this is one of the reasons why I stream. I don't, I don't really talk at work. Um, at home, I don't really talk to my family. I'm just, I'm pretty, I'm pretty quiet all around. But uh, at least here, this is kind of an unofficial rule in streaming. I mean, I'm, I'm a self-diagnosed schizophrenic. I'll just come right out and say it. So I. I've had a chat pop. I've had a chat room up here ever since I was a kid. So this is something that lends itself perfectly to me. I could just talk out loud, talk to my, you know, talk to myself. It's it's ba it's basically an unwritten rule in streaming. You, you you talk it out even though there's nobody there. And if uh, you have a viewer, if you have a viewer account on your on your channel, if you can do it, shut it off. that it, it really helps out uh, because uh, back when I was streaming on YouTube I just, I just remember this back when I was streaming on YouTube I actually had uh, two modes I had quiet mode and I had showtime mode where if uh, there were no viewers on at all I just wouldn't talk at all da, 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 da. Once, once, the, once I saw a viewer come in Hey, all of a sudden I'm in talking to him. Oh, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm streaming Diablo 3 and I'm running this greater rev for the umpteenth time. How you doing today? You know, and, and just, you know, you know, it's camera action. So I had, I had two modes, two modes of that. So one of the reasons why was because I had a viewer account up there. I don't really believe in wasted effort. So I don't want to sit here and just, you know, just spill the beans up when there's nobody around to hear. So as long as that viewer account stayed at zero I wasn't saying anything so that would also be my other piece of advice if you have a viewer account on your channel get rid of it and moving right along See, now being social is a skill like any other yeah I just thought of that. The concept of social skills. Just like any other skill. I wish I'd have known that when I was a kid. It's like I said earlier. If you don't stream, you don't get better. stream I usually have no viewers but I start every stream the same um I don't use these exact words but usually usually I say morning or good morning good morning good morning go to good evening and you know intro you know just try to get the introduction excuse me try to get the introductions out of the way uh tell people what I'm going to be doing uh maybe some outside environmental factors if I remember to say it you know uh, it's cold in my apartment so or it's super hot in my apartment, so I'm going to be a little irritable. You know, stuff like that. Yep. 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 Um, and I think I could probably give this, I could probably give the same piece of advice to this person too, Milk Tea. If you have a viewer, if you got a viewer account on your channel, get rid of it. I guess it's also, a, on a related yet unrelated note, it's along the same lines as why, uh, if you're going to play, play guitar, you should always learn on an acoustic first, rather than an electric. Or if you are gonna play on, if you are gonna learn to play on an electric, don't have any effects at all. Just guitar, amp. Just so we can hear, so you can hear how you really sound, and you know, without all the, the extra doodads and whatnot that can ma mask your, uh, ma I don't, I don't want to say mask your tone, but uh, you know, that can mask your notes, your melodies, and whatnot, whatever it is you're playing, so we can get a, a good, you know, a clear. A clear signal, for lack of a better phrase, 
Again, if you got wah pedals, distortion pedals, you got effects, all these other effects, clouding your, clouding your music, I we can't under, I can't really understand what you're actually playing. It's too noisy. So that's that's kind of related to this. You know, getting rid of your viewer count is kind of related to learning to play on acoustic before you play on electric. So sorry if that didn't make any sense. But yeah, he said it too. Man, I wish I still wish I would have known that when I was a kid. Social skills. Being social is a skill. It's something you learn. Very similar to her, and I mean, Francis B. and I have autism in every way that the internet finds hilarious and at times cringy. I'll bet he got that by streaming too. Um, watch other streamers and take notes. I made a video about networking a long time ago, but what you um uh, you want to watch other streamers, but um uh, I think you to a point you should, but uh, you also need to more importantly you need to find out a. Uh, I think through all that, you need to find your niche. It's not, it's not something you're gonna get instantly or anything like that. It's gonna take some work, but basically, um, being a super duper small streamer can actually be a good thing, or it, there's advantages to it. Um, I know uh, people like myself who are actually turned off by big time streamers, it's like too much like Walmart. You get treated like a customer because. So many customers come through their doors. I mean, kind of, it'd be kind of hard to focus on just one person, you know. So, copy those notes on both. I've uh, from time to time I've thought of doing this too, but the problem is, is I already, I already have lack of space in my, uh, my stream area. This is also my living room where I watch TV as well. It's also where I. It, it's my it's my gaming, and it's also my uh, my my living room as well. So I don't because of that I don't I don't have a whole lot of room to where I can do this kind of thing. But uh, I do have a I do have a legal pad, a pen and a marker. But usually I use a marker because it's big and black and it's easier to read. But I'll, I'll do something like that. But as far as uh, taking advice and stuff, I guess now that I think about it, I also do videos. One other thing you can probably do is you can do what I do, make videos. Just make quiet, you know, quiet, personal, almost Bob Ross-ish, or almost Bob Ross-like videos. Just nice and peaceful. You're not having to concentrate on a game or anything like that. You're not having to concentrate on, on any viewers or anything like that. You could just focus on this so I guess that would be another piece of advice to um, make videos try joining Toastmasters uh, that's not a plug you're starting from me okay where, where you? nailed it with this one you're starting from behind on a platform that is highly competitive I don't know what Toastmasters is. I'll have to look that up. Uh, I want. I almost want to. I almost want to slap him up for that. But uh, he's he is for the most part right. It, it, it that reeks way too much of. Well, maybe because your stream sucks. Maybe you should not even bother. I, that, that whole, that statement just. I mean, but he, he generally, as uh, cold hearted as that sounds, he is right. On the other hand, though, you don't have to be a, 
you don't have to be a you don't have to be a wild doctor dude hey what's up be what's up beeps and you don't have to be all like that because it might get you some viewers but it actually turns off other viewers too like myself if I I mean if I actually uh there's a now that I think about it there's a door greeter at Walmart that does that does just this like he doesn't just hey welcome to Walmart I mean he's up there hey how you doing today hey welcome hey fist pound hey welcome you know and I can't remember what else he says but it's a little too much charisma there for my taste I mean no you don't have to be a you don't have to be a sad sack or anything hi welcome or anything like that but I think he's a little over the top for my taste so which which you know based on based on that somebody who's actually trying to be charismatic is actually a turnoff for me so um so i guess on this, based on this the truth is somewhere in between you i mean yes you you gotta speak you gotta speak up um like we've all said before talk to yourself you know just talk out loud don't try not to think it out just talk it out so i guess that would be um that would be my somewhere in the middle just speak it out uh echo chamber um i kind of i Oh hell, I totally forgot to comment on this part. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why I like this. The system was in place long before you and I ever started streaming. I don't, I wanna say streaming has been around for gotta be at least 10 years. So that's that's 10 years of uh, 10 years of all this stuff going on. You know, Twitter, Facebook, you know, blogging and whatnot. All of this has been going on years before you and I started. So, as far as as far as catching up, it, I don't really have a comment on that. But it's also kind of like what I said earlier. And you think you said the same thing here that I said? The system's been in place long before you and I started. Um, highly competitive. Competitive would be a uh, his word, not mine. I would probably say, uh, if anything, the streaming community. I want to say it's almost like pro wrestling. Pro wrestling has been around for so many years, and plus uh, now everybody's hip to the everybody's hip to the fact that it's fake, it's planned, choreographed, scripted, and I. I think the community in general is jaded. I, for lack of a better word, it's I'm not meaning to offend anybody, but they've seen it all. They've seen all kinds of streamers do all kinds of things. So on one end, you need to find a niche, something nobody's ever seen before, but at the same time, good luck. Because I'm, like I've said, I'm pretty sure everybody knows everything, and I'm pretty sure the streaming community has probably done everything too. So. I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. He said the same thing. Oh, I put a 90 second delay on, then asked him some questions and opened up my stream. That's pretty creative. I like that. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, or one thing that I also do, this is especially true when I'm streaming Final Fantasy 14. They have a, that game has a lodestone blog on their website. And it's actually, to me, one of the better blogs I've ever seen. Granted, I haven't, I haven't done very many, but you can, you can upload videos, you can post links on it. Um, you can post screenshots and stuff. And it's a direct, it's directly part of Final Fantasy XIV. It's not a, it's not an outside, not done by an outside company or anything like that. 
it's directly in it so the people that watch the people that watch your blogs are also Final Fantasy 14 players so you're really plugging into the community in that place so that's what I do it's kind of a kind of a variation of this after I stream I'll post my stream video on it and I'll type down all the stuff I did today and maybe some comments and commentary and whatnot I'll throw that in as well Um, which I agree with that too, because I do I do see this question on the forums a lot. <clears throat> Lots of I am I am shy, socially and awkward. What, what, what can I do to What can I do to get more viewers in my stream? I'm sorry if I scare anybody. I mean, I mean I see those a lot. Don't hear some more thoughts. I forgot. Being an outgoing, social, and extroverted person is something everyone can force themselves to learn. Learning to do it takes a lot to get over the anxiety to communicate with strangers, and it's to get over the hump that you don't believe you have anything important to say. That's pretty much what I said at the start. Stream. Go get in there and do it. Okay, um, ideally I kind of agree with this too. It takes a lot of work outside of just streaming to train your mind to working. I don't know what kind of lifestyle, the, I don't know what kind of lifestyle they have, but like I said in mine, uh, I worked a night shift and probably the vast majority of the people I work with are, they're not people persons. So what tends to happen is uh, not, I don't want to say antisocial, I mean, they're not, they're not misanthropics or misanthropists or anything like that. You know, they're not, they don't, they don't hate people, but they're not, they're not sociable. But what happens is, is when you put not sociable people into, into the same places with other people who are not sociable, a lot of tension mounts, uh, frustration, you know, they just, it, it's, it, it's a lot to explain, but it's pretty much one of the reasons why I stream and do stuff like this. It's it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to talk. Really. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm having trouble forming sentences right now. Because basically, uh, you you need to do so, You need to do something outside of streaming. Some kind of communication. In my case, it's this. Um, whatever for you, whatever whatever you whatever works works. help introduce you to the big world and not be yep cheap therapy that's another I won't uh, I wouldn't really say cheap I mean I probably spent at least I probably say I spent at least just 500 bucks on the uh, game the entry-level gaming PC I got but you get the idea therapy personalities to get there on those unique personalities and, and yep um a long time ago i think i watched a youtube video on like the top 10 youtubers of all time or something like that and i noticed kind of a trend between all all those uh youtubers they've been in it for years none of that success was achieved overnight so I don't I don't think that's what he's saying like you could do this overnight but uh, that was something I noticed with those popular youtubers they didn't build Rome in a day they I think a lot of them took about usually around 10 years for them to get super popular so Any echo chamber Um, scheduling can be important. I try to, I try to stick to a schedule on mine, but, uh, 
if for some reason, I kind of, for some reason, if you can't stream or whatever, let the viewers know about it. It's almost like calling in sick to work. If you can't make it, let them know. What you know and feel comfortable talking about and check out the one. echo chamber right down when you feel it um or at least do some kind of at least do some version of that like i said i post my up uh, i post my streams on a final fantasy 14 blog so that's my alternative i don't really get any of these i don't i get very few viewers i guess uh i guess one niche that i found that um, I don't really see a whole lot of people doing is uh, playing vinyl records. I got a rec I got a record player set up like right here, and I got about I got a ball about a a banana box a banana box and a half full of records that I play while I play. So, but one um one trend that I have that I have when streaming is uh. It's, hey, nice vinyl. Hey, so glad you're playing vinyl. You know, and, and then just, you know, and being complimented on some of the music. Um, I guess uh, for for some of the, probably for some of the albums I play, I guess it's, in a way, this can also be seen as a compliment. When I play stuff like Ween, which is one of the most uh, crude and vulgar bands I've heard in my life. I mean, it's almost a compliment when uh, somebody comes in there Hey Joe, what's up? And then moments later, nothing, because I have that something like that plan, or what I had going yesterday. Straight up NWA, straight out of Compton. I can imagine some viewer coming and listen to that. Oh my God! You know, pew, off they go. <clears throat> what? feel inclined to keep up the social that's why make it easier to grow yeah find a comfort zone it's like i said earlier um you need you need to speak uh you need to have some you know or I'm, I'm babbling right now but just the short version speak talk it's also one of the it's also one of the reasons why i leave other people's streams it's because they don't say a word you know this is especially true if they got a microphone like if they have a headset microphone and they have a webcam and I see them doing this and they got this, but I don't hear any, I don't hear anything coming out of their mouth, you know, and this could be despite the fact that, despite the fact that I might actually be typing something down in chat and, you know, they're, they're still not saying anything. Oh, I just, I had a flashback. I actually woke up a streamer because no, he's had no viewers for so long. He's just... I think he had the uh, he had the he had the headphones like sitting close by. And he just I know I I typed something down in chat. And he just oh shit. oh hi hi welcome to the stream. Hey, how's it going? Oh oh, oh wow you know. Mouse keeps sticking. Basics when uh I've said this before. We could probably argue back and forth about this, but uh do not have a viewer account on your do not have a viewer account in your in your channel. Like I said, I did exactly and uh something else I thought about too. Um when I was streaming on YouTube or yeah, when I was streaming on YouTube the moment I saw a viewer enter, right when he showed up, hey, welcome to the stream, man. You know, seconds later, pew, gone. Um, some people actually want to come into your channel and lurk. Um, I'm, I can be like, I can be like this part of the time. Like, I just want to, I just want to watch you, man. I don't really want combo. I just want to sit and watch you raid. You know, you don't want to distract you. You know, stuff like that. 
Um, but again, I've had I've had people leave my streams for doing this. Like some people want to lurk. It's also kind of part and parcel to what I said before. Turn the viewer count off. You need to learn. You, you need to learn to talk as though nobody's. You need to talk even though nobody's there. If that makes any sense. But yeah, that that kind of what I said earlier. You don't. You want to be yourself. You don't want to be too. You don't want to be the two people that I was when I was streaming. You know, I'd be the. Well, ain't nobody on. Ain't worth my time. Ain't worth my effort and not to say a word and then. Viewer account, count, you know. Then if viewer shows that if you ran, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? You know, you know. And then moments later, he's gone. So, ah. Uh, uh, no, no. If I'm understanding that correctly, this is another one or one of the biggest reasons why I leave other people's streams and people do it a lot. Make sure that you're on a call with someone else. No. There's been, uh, there's been many a time where I would watch another streamer and they're sitting there and just blah, 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 talking to somebody else and they're Sometimes on a cell phone, sometimes on a headset, you know, playing a game with their buddies or whatnot. I'm typing something down in chat and I get completely ignored. Like, they, and if, if they actually do notice, it's like, oh, hey, somebody's on. Oh, hey, you know, like they weren't even paying attention. I think if you're streaming, your devotion needs to be your audience, not to an outside distraction. The conversation between the very and talking to them and usually if I'm talking to them about something I'm super um, this might work for some but it's not going to work for somebody like me <clears throat> again if I if I see this it tells me that you're not really paying attention to any viewers you got you're more worried about the outside than the inside uh, I see that I'm gone um, as a side note this is especially true that if they don't have a webcam, but it usually um, I avoid those immediately. Usually shows on the on their channel pictures whether or not they have a webcam. If they don't have a webcam, I don't visit them. But uh, if you did, you can only imagine it, that's going to get very confusing. You're not going to know which one's the actual streamer. You know, you got like two plus people sitting there just chatting away. I don't know which one's the streamer. You know. Yep. Like in that one. Totally said what I was thinking. Damn, I almost want to like that more than once. Bas yeah, it, it's like he just... He basically just said what everybody else was saying condensed down into, the, into a Reader's Digest version. Because I can be like this at times, too. For the most part, I'll chat with the streamer. But there's going to be times where I just want to sit and watch. Like, if for the rare time, I uh, actually want to watch uh, somebody raiding in Final Fantasy XIV. I ain't going to talk. I mean, I ain't going to say anything because they're going to be too busy concentrating. They're going to be too busy discussing boss mechanics or whatnot. Just be yourself, Deb. It was the happy medium I was trying to talk about. Trying to talk about earlier. Success on Twitch is not... Uh, I kind of get it. 56 points. 
that, that it's it sounds kind of cold hearted. Well, maybe you just you weren't, you know, like because it does sound it does sound kind of well. Maybe you're just not right for streaming. I won't even bother, man. Just go just sit in your go sit in your house and do nothing. That's better. You're better off doing that than even bothering streaming. I mean, that's what it's up. Sounds like that's what the implication is. But again, um, <clears throat> probably two different points of view on that. I've said it earlier. I, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but uh, I don't, I don't like super quiet streamers who never talk. That's a turn off. But then again, overly charismatic people who just, who just can't, who just can't seem to stop. Just blah, 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 continual gum flappers. Um, in the 90s, there was a guy named Tony Little. <clears throat> he was just big time loudmouth bodybuilders selling bodybuilding equipment, but he would just, he would oversell it. He, it was like he was like smoking nine tons of crack a day and he just go all crazy technique and he just, he was doing that for fear of, uh, to keep, you know, keep people stuck to their seats watching the channel so they don't, they don't change it. You know, try to keep them enticed. Something like that is a turn off for me too. So, happy medium. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this... It just, and I got three people that would back me up on that, too. It sounds like... That guy. Plus, uh, not to mention that, I think, uh... I think uh, Gino has already found the answer. He's, stream he's streaming. So, Mr. Gino was already one step ahead of you. Unquiet emo. Okay. Oh, and how did I walk by this? Just that first sentence alone. There's not much in life that we're good at on the first try. It's like what I said earlier. Um, it's like I said earlier, I doubt any of these streamers, and I'm pretty sure none of the, none of the uh, popular YouTubers that I mentioned earlier did it, uh, they didn't get it right on the first day. It took some work and so, for those popular ones it probably took about 10 years for them to get, that, get to that point. Okay, awkward at first anyway. Hopefully... Hopefully you, as you keep doing it, sometimes will click and find a method of mind frame that works for you. Probably for trying something new and putting yourself out there. That's, he, this is an, this is another one here that <clears throat> I wish I could like more than once. Not all of us are in it for just to get the massive amounts of viewers or anything like that. If anything, I don't I'm kind of the streamer equivalent of of somebody who says tits that are bigger than the hand is a waste I'm kind of like this too as far as streaming goes um, I'm most comfortable with around probably like around three or four viewers at the most just something I can hand, something I can easily handle and keep track of on my uh, on my chat box you know, not like a small, like a big type streamer, which is another one of the reasons why I avoid them. I mean, you look over in the chat box, you type some, all this chat going on, like crazy. I mean, it's like a damn, it's like a damn anti-gravity chamber. <clears throat> you type something, you type something down, you just watch it whoosh, just fly right up in the air. What? Well, that looks like, looks like that's it. Um, this is a very good video too. Not much bab not much uh not a whole lot of heavy babbling on my part. I've had a I've had video I've tried doing videos where I I, I guess okay I've sp I you know, you, just, you know, you my brain just locks up, I can't think of anything to say and it, everything just or just comes out wrong or 
I said the right, I said the wrong thing right when it come right after it comes out of my mouth. I end up having to delete the video because it was just so awful. But this definitely wasn't it. But but as I gotta as I'm gonna have to lay down here pretty soon because uh, uh, I gotta work tonight. And plus, uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to stream Final Fantasy 14 tonight. Usually around 7:30 p.m. Uh, U.S. Central Time. I'll just um. Uh, Go ahead and cut it off here. And if you, especially if you managed to make it this far, thanks a lot for watching. And until we meet again, take care.